Today, we are doing a huge closet declutter con my method style. A little over a year ago, I did an extreme closet declutter that admittedly had gotten out of control. Like I had items in there from high school, which was well over 10 years ago. So pathetic, maybe. But it's been decluttered and I don't want situations like that to arise again. So I felt like it was appropriate to readdress this space a little over a year later with all of my new Con My Method learning so that we can really whittle down the space to just what we truly need. I wanna make sure items do not overstay their welcome and take up space in my closet and ultimately my mind because it's getting to the point where I'm struggling to pick out outfits in the morning and then I end up just wearing the same random t-shirts every single day because I don't want to think about it and so that's a problem. I'm, there's a lot of clothes being wasted because I don't want to feel overwhelmed by the options. So it definitely needs to be whittled down so I get good use out of the clothes that I really do like. For those of you that are new to my channel, hi, my name is Mai, and the Con Mai method is inspired by the Con Mari method. It's just my lazier, normal person who has a lot of other shit in their life to get done version, so I cut some corners. The first step of this version is the same as the Con Mari method, and that is getting everything together into one place, one giant pile, for this video, it will be this bed. That way you can see everything you have and make decluttering decisions from there. As I pull everything out, I'm going to shamelessly plug my channel, subscribe for more motherhood, cleaning, decluttering, shopping, and whatever I'm doing in my life content, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok, just at my Zimmy. Oh, this is not starting off smoothly. pile here. There's suitcases that have clothes in them, bins that have clothes in them, shoe boxes, clothes boxes. I have all my cube storage bins that I just stuck in here because a lot of them have tiny items in there that I don't want to lose track of. I'll go through each bin individually. This is where we are. <laughs> uh, this is going to take a while. Ooh. Ow. This right here is my favorite and least favorite part of this whole process. What I've realized through doing all these declutters is when a space becomes less cluttered, my brain also becomes less cluttered because you have an inventory kind of of all the things you own in your home, right? Whether you really realize it or not, you have an idea of what you own. And when you start accruing too much, in my case, you start losing track of what you own. And then you rebuy things that you already own or you're looking for something that you own, but between your like pot piles of crap all over the house. You just don't know where you've placed it. And I'm losing my train of thought just trying to explain it because like I'm thinking of all the clutter behind me right now and it's cluttering my brain as we speak. So let's get to decluttering. This is where we leave the KonMari method station and we pull into the KonMai method style parking lot. Cause with Marie Kondo's method, we are supposed to pick up items one by one and ponder if it brings joy to us. Like this bra, for example. If I had to ponder, does this bra bring joy to me? No, because the moment I'm able to just like rip off my bra when I get home, I take advantage of that moment and go braless. But I still need bras. I'm not just gonna live a braless life with my boobs that have fed three children. I'm going to keep wearing my bras out in public. But yeah, ultimately the point of that was is the whole Sparks Joy thing doesn't necessarily work for me for any category of my house really, but especially not my closet. What I'm going to base my decluttering decisions on are really on three different things. Number one, does it even fit? If it doesn't, it probably never will. So just donate that item so that someone else can wear it. Number two, have I even worn this piece of clothing in the last 365 days? If that's a no, then it's a solid goodbye. I've gone through all four seasons, every possible weather variation through the year, and I haven't found a possible situation to wear this piece of clothing. I probably won't find a reason to wear it in the next 365 days, so it needs to go. And number three, does it even look good on me or fit my style? I feel like in the last year, my style has changed a lot, kind of surprisingly, except for not, it's probably changed a lot for a lot of us. But for me, this is the first 
full year that I have not worked a corporate job, I haven't worked out of the house, and I feel like because of that, my overall style is so much more casual now. But then on the other side, my kids are a little bit older, they're easier to manage, and because of that, my husband and I have actually been able to have nights out on the town, an occasional family vacation, and when those types of things arise, I, I do like to get dressed up. And so I feel like my only two looks are really dressed up or super casual. So if it doesn't fit into one of those two categories, I probably don't really need it. But enough talking, now we know the parameters of the decluttering decisions that need to be made. I am going to have three different piles, a keep pile, a donate pile, and a sell pile. But before we get into sorting items, the last thing I need to do that again is inspired by the KonMari method, it's just my like much quicker version, is that Marie Kondo likes to thank each individual item before she decides to get rid of it if it's not a keep item, but like, yeah, I'm not doing that for all these items because I do plan on getting rid of a lot and that's just too many goodbyes for me. So I'm going to do one collective group thank you and goodbye to all the items in this pile that have served me and are going to find new homes somewhere, somewhere out there. <laughs> thank you everyone for serving me however you may have served me in my life, whether you were a piece of clothing that I wore a lot and I just don't really have a use for you anymore because my boobs have shrunk and you don't fit me anymore. I still thank you for the time that you have. <laughs> okay, this is getting too. Thank you if you were useful to me. If I accidentally like made a wrong choice and bought you and then never wore you and you still have tags on you, I'm sorry. Someone, someone else is going to enjoy you soon. Love you all. All right, let's get to decluttering. First things first, this bra does not fit me anymore. This was a useful bra for me when I was breastfeeding. My boobs were a lot bigger then. So this is a goodbye. I feel like I'm actually gonna be trying on quite a bit of stuff today to see if I like it, to see if it even fits me. I'm actually gonna back this baby up a little bit. This is kind of an old jacket but I definitely could use it right now. It is pouring cats and dogs out outside right now, and I actually don't own a rain jacket. And this was hiding in this blue striped bin here. This is why I need to do this declutter. Part of it is resurfacing things that are actually really nice. This is a North Face rain jacket. I don't know why it was in this child's laundry bin, but either way, I found it. It fits me. I'm definitely keeping this, especially because I was planning on buying a rain jacket this week and this saves me a bunch of money. This whole bin, most of it is donate. I have, oh, some toys for my kids. So that should go to my kids. Oh, these are some leggings that I actually really love the style of them. I really like the hot pink stripes on the side. My only problem with these, and the reason why I never wear them, are there no pockets. I can't wear leggings that do not have pockets on them. So even though these are so nice, they're so soft, they're so comfortable, and honestly, they were pretty expensive. I'm going to sell these because I, I can't survive without a pocket. Like. How does anyone wear leggings without pockets? I just can't. So I'm gonna put this in my cell pile. Ugh. Ah, I'm dropping stuff now. I don't even know what's in here. My mom actually bought this for me and it's, it's a really, really nice bag. It's just honestly not really my style. So I kind of forgot about it, but it's a really nice bag. So I'm, I'm going to sell this and then I'll just, I feel bad <laughs> selling something that my mom gifted me. So any net proceeds will go towards a really nice Christmas gift for her this year. Especially if you're watching this mom, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'll get you a nice Christmas gift. I'm gonna move the camera. Camera. It's gonna be like a mini fashion show right now. I very rarely wear dresses So I kind of feel like I have to try on these dresses to see if they fit and if I even like them because While I probably haven't worn most of them in over a year So technically they should automatically go into the donate pile I feel like some of them are pieces that I just should hold on to like a plain little black dress like this that is very modest, high neckline with sleeves. Yeah, just things like that. I wanna try these dresses on. Mini fashion show starts now. I mean, it's a plain, plain black dress with sleeves. 
sleeves. I think I'll keep this just in case I ever need it. I bought this over a year ago thinking I would wear it to like a Christmas thing and I never did because I didn't really go to any Christmas like events last year. I might actually take the kids to Nutcracker or something this holiday season and I feel like this would be a cute dress for just taking the kids out to the Nutcracker play. So I'm going to keep this. It's not necessarily my style, but it's very on theme for Christmas. So I will keep it just for that. Okay, yeah, no, this looks like a really wide, slightly too long shirt. I don't, I don't know why I got this, it's a, it's a no. I don't really wear much leopard print anymore. I feel like it's maybe too young for me. I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna donate. I'm gonna sell this actually. This is nice enough to sell, but it's not for me. All right, this one here, it's a long maxi dress. It's racer back in the back. Gosh, I've owned this for probably going on eight years now. So while it should be an item that I get rid of, I think I'm gonna keep it. Because I already know the situation that I'm going to wear it in. This is like the perfect thing to wear over your swimsuit. This is like a good swim cover up. That's the word I'm looking for. I already have plans. I'm super excited. My best friend and I in January for three Three days while my kids are in school I'm flying to Sarasota with her and we're just gonna relax on the beach explore the cute little town of Sarasota which has always been on my bucket list of places to go ever since I watched the show Cougar Town back when I was in college don't ask me why I watched the show Cougar Town when I was like 20 but I loved that show I actually rewatch it now still it's on Hulu Anyways, I'm finally going to Sarasota for the first time in my life and I'm gonna wear this as I'm walking around the cute little town of Sarasota with my swimsuit underneath. Hopefully it's warm. All right, this one I got not that long ago from Target. I really liked it when I got it and I did wear it a few times this summer. The only problem with this and the reason I am donating it is it's so flowy on the bottom here. It gets caught up in the wind all the time and like blows up all over the place. Like I'm just trying to have a nice time out at the park with my kids and be comfortable. It is really comfortable, but it's not super comfortable comfortable when the wind is like shooting your dress up into your face. So for that reason, it's a donate. Can humiliate someone else. I know these don't match. I'm just trying both on to see if they even fit. This shirt, I feel like it's too dressy and professional for me. Like I'm not, not that professional. So this is a donate. These shorts, I got them from Target. They're actually really comfortable. I had high hopes of wearing them more often. Again, it's like, probably too professional for me. Like it's a nice black fabric and I don't really have any shirts that match with it. So I never ended up wearing it. So both of these are gonna be a no for me. All right, so this is a plain black wrap dress. I feel like it's a pretty flattering cut, but this is another plain black modest dress for certain occasions. I probably only need one of these. So I think I'm actually going to keep this one and then I'm going to donate the other one. I only need one modest black dress. All right, I tried on all the dresses that I was teetering on whether or not I should keep them. The remaining dresses, I feel like I definitely know whether or not I need them or not. So I'm just going through those now and putting them into their correct pile. Most of them are going to be donated. I actually have a lot more clothes that are donated than I thought. Some more good Christmas clothing. So I'm going to keep these. Sifting through and lifting all these clothes, it feels like you're lifting a one pound weight over and over. So I'm actually getting a good workout doing this. Okay, I really liked this bodysuit tank top. I got it at Target. It was really affordable, only like $10. And it fit great when I first bought it. And then I washed it. And it shrunk just enough that it was too short lengthwise. And when you're wearing a bodysuit that is too short lengthwise, it's like walking around with a wedgie like pulling up your butt all day so uncomfortable it's it was so cute I liked it so much until I washed it and then it just was torturous so that's that's go and donate I'm only 5'4 I don't even want to imagine what the taller gals had to go through who got that These are my favorite shirts from Target. Every other video that you see, I'm wearing one of these types of shirts from Target. They're just the loose, baggy, super soft ribbed shirts, or some of them aren't ribbed. Some of them are this, I don't even know what you call it. 
It's kind of a woven fabric. Either that or a simple crop tee. Those are my go-tos, so I'm keeping that. Probably not even gonna fit me. You know what? Surprisingly, it actually fits me. Finding new useful items in my own closet. I'm finding that a lot of these clothes that I'm just quickly getting rid of are cheap fast fashion items that I got at like Amazon or Shein. I don't know if Shein, if it's Shane or Shein, I'm just gonna say Shein. I really have not bought a lot from Shein because in the few experiences that I've got Shein clothing, it's been terrible. Like none of the clothes are good quality. They don't even look cute once they're on. It reminds me of those memes where it's like, what you saw and then what you got. That's how I feel about Shein clothes. So don't recommend Shein. From my experience at least, it's only been negative. I am getting rid of an enormous amount of clothes right now. I'm actually kind of worried I'm not gonna have that many clothing options other than super basic cleaning and just round the house lounging shirts like this. So please let me know in the comments below if there's any YouTubers, Instagrammers, TikTokers, whatever that you really like for fashion, advice, inspo, anything like that, please let me know in the comments below because when I get my Christmas money in, I'm, I'm gonna go shopping and fill in the gaps and get some nice clothes that I actually like and will be excited to wear because I don't have any clothes that I'm excited to wear right now. And that's kind of sad, because there was a time in my life where I would get really excited to wear certain clothes. And yeah, I don't really have that anymore. My style's changed, a lot of them are getting thrown out. I need, I want to be inspired. Moving into some of the cube storage bins that are just shoved with clothes with no rhyme or reason. And I don't even know what's in half of these cube storage bins anymore, so I know I need to get rid of a lot. Starting with more leggings that have no pockets, so they have no use for me. That whole bin was so incredibly full to the brim, and of everything in that cube, I'm only keeping two pairs of leggings so definitely cluttered i didn't even know these two pairs of leggings were in there because they were buried under all the other things i don't use this is my cube bin that is full of swimsuits and i really don't go swimming that often so i probably don't need a whole bin dedicated to swimsuits probably only need two swimsuits maybe three if, I, if i'm going a little crazy it's also full of like all the little cups that have come with any swimsuit I have ever owned. Can probably get rid of some of those. This is my favorite ever swimsuit. It's from the brand Airy. It is the most flattering one piece cut swimsuit in existence. I'm not gonna do like a swimsuit try on, so I'll just like float the picture over here. And I love the cut of this swimsuit so much. But again, recently for whatever reason, I'm not as big of a fan of the leopard print. I think maybe for a while I had so much leopard print that I'm just kind of sick of it now. So you know what, I might, I, I'm keeping this for now because it's my favorite cut swimsuit that I own. But before I go on a beach vacation, I might be buying that exact swimsuit just in a non leopard color. Oh my gosh. This is an old bra, but once upon a time, like I would wear the most padded push-up bras. This is a Victoria's Secret one. It's the bombshell plunge. It was supposed to add like two cup sizes or something. And you know what? It really did, but I don't wear stuff like this anymore. Like I'm, I'm fine with just being pretty flat. So this can go. Not cute. This I'm pretty sure is way too small. This is one of my favorite bags ever. I've had it for over a decade now, actually, at this point. It's held up well, it's Kate Spade brand, but I just like the, I don't even know what it's called, but the printed leather on it and the color, it's just a very Texas Western crossbody bag. I haven't used it in the last few years because I carry around my little backpacks with me everywhere because that is better able to hold stuff for my kids, but, I don't know. I feel an emotional attachment to this bag and I feel like if I were to take the kids to like a rodeo, which is very possible in the next year, I would probably bring this bag or just anything. Any of my really Texas looking items, I feel like at least at one or two points during the year, 
I can get some good use out of them. So I'm keeping this. Speaking of Texas looking items that I really don't have much use out of, but I at least have one point of use for them throughout the year, these cowboy boots. These are the most Texas looking, Texas flowing cowboy boots in existence. I got them off Zulily. They were not cheap, but they are like high quality and you know what these are fun to wear on fourth of july whatever the rodeo these are my favorite and only pair of cowboy boots another pair of shoes here just looking at them to look at them i'm pretty sure i might have shared this in my declutter last year but I, I wanna pull them out because they're an emotional item that I just wanna see again. These were the shoes that I wore on my wedding day. Definitely not my style at all anymore, but you know, it's been 10 years since I was married. So I wouldn't imagine that my style would be the exact same as 10 years ago. But I still think they're pretty. They were problematic because these little like gemstones on here are actually really sharp and kind of acted like Velcro. It actually caught on my wedding dress and ripped off the bottom of my wedding dress. This is the only piece of my wedding dress that I actually still have because I ended up selling my wedding dress, I think. I was super cheap and poor when I got married, but I didn't have like this say yes to the dress experience where I went to the store with my mom and all my girlfriends and spent like $20,000 on a dress. If you can do that, that's great. I spent about $250, I believe, on my wedding dress and I got it used off of eBay. So yeah, I didn't put like that much weight behind my wedding dress. So I didn't feel bad about selling it afterwards either and making some money on it. So this is all I have left of my wedding dress. The bit that got caught on my shoe and we had to tear off. And then my wedding shoes. These, these are the wedding mem memorabilia that I have aside from pictures. So I'm keeping them. I have more shorts that I don't wear. They're not my style anymore. They don't fit me right. Don't wear yellow shorts or green shorts. These ones are low rise. I'm not into that. Oh, this is a whole jumpsuit. I like a good jumpsuit if it's easy to go pee. Like if it's a shorts jumpsuit and you can like move the shorts to the side and use the bathroom, I like that. But these, this is a long pant jumpsuit. And I don't really like being out in public and having to get practically naked just to go pee. So I'm gonna pass on those. Another nursing bra I do not need. So literally everything that was in here is gone. Oh, this is my Conair defuzzer to keep my clothes that I am keeping in good shape. Oh, okay, so these are the only items I plan on keeping from Shein and they are lingerie items. I don't want to spend $100 on lingerie. I'm not wearing it that much. Really not wearing it that much. So if I can get cheap five or $10 lingerie from Shein, that is an ideal situation. I have four different like cute little outfits for less money than it would cost to get one outfit from Victoria's Secret. So those are the only Shein items I like and I'm keeping. As, as I'm going through the bins at the end here, I'm kind of already storing them in the proper bin for the future, or at least kind of in the vicinity of where I want things to go. Like bras, I'm putting all my bras over here. Socks in here. So yeah, I'm finding a rhyme and reason and home for these items kind of as I'm clearing them out. This one is so stuffed to the brim, I just have to take everything out to figure out what stays and goes. My favorite underwear are the Auden brand no-show panties. So I'm keeping all of those. And then I have my, of course, my period panties that I don't really care about as much. I'm gonna set those to the side here for now. They're gonna have their own little drawer in home. We are all done organizing everything into their designated piles. Let me show you where we're at. This is the status of things. I have the little cell pile. This is all donate. As I put stuff into the donate bags, I'll probably move some of these items to the cell pile as well. But I was just on like beast mode putting stuff into this absolutely massive donate pile. There's probably a handful in here that I can definitely sell. All the hangers then I have the keep pile here 
And then some of the keep stuff is already in the bins. They just need to be further organized. But really the keep pile isn't that much bigger than the donate pile. There's a lot of donate. I mean, I got rid of probably 40% of my closet, I would say. Now that you know where we are at, I have to back up all this donate stuff, put it in my trunk, and then figure out how I wanna organize everything here. But before we do that, I'm going to clean out my closet so that it is fresh when I put everything back because I don't think I've done a thorough cleaning of every little nook and cranny since well over a year ago. Lucky and unlucky for me, there really isn't that much to wipe down in my closet. I mostly hang everything in here. And then I have my one little cube storage bin that in previous videos I talked about replacing, but I just really haven't found a good replacement for how shallow and depth my closet allows. It's a very, very narrow closet. So really if it sticks out any further than this tiny cube storage already, we're gonna struggle to walk through here if we're both in the closet together. So I think I kinda just have to stick with my cube storage, but whatever. This is still like the largest closet I've ever had in my life. So I really have nothing to complain about. As I'm vacuuming here, I know I'm annoyed too that I didn't move this shoe bin to vacuum every square inch of this space, but honestly, this shoe bin is on its last little breath of life. It is about to fall apart, so if I were to move it, I'm pretty sure it would just break and I'm not ready to buy a new shoe rack yet. But here's the closet, fully clean and ready for us to start putting some clothes away after we bag up all these clothes that are going to go donate. I filled four kitchen trash bags full of clothing. Next, I am dividing up the hangers and organizing them because they are in a jumbled mess right now. I have two categories. One, the ones that are connected are the pants hangers, and then the smaller non-connected ones are these shirts hangers. I really like these felt hangers. I'll have them linked below. I got them a long time ago when my closet was super out of control because they're so thin and I was able to cram even more into my space with these thinner felt hangers. But now, while the thin profile is nice, it's not essential for me to fit everything into one space. I still like them because the felt keeps my clothes on the hanger. I just can never go back to the fully plastic round hangers. Now I am putting all the keep items on the floor of my closet so I can work at getting them untangled and hung. I'm hanging them here with no rhyme or reason, I just want them untangled. Then, once all of that is done, I'll put them in their final home. Now that everything is mostly untangled, I'm putting up all the shirts where I'm ultimately going to house them, and then I'm putting up the items that need to be hung that are sitting on the floor onto the cube storage so that I can hang them and then they can join the rest of their friends. With all the tops being on hangers now, I'm going to reorganize my shirts to match the color scheme Roy G. Biv. It's just the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And yeah, I just feel like the clothes look best organized in that colorway, having red at one end and then it goes all the way ending in pink, then it moves into the neutral colors that are the beiges, ivories, whites, and then from white it moves up from gray to black. I have a small pile of items right here that I know goes into these cube bins. A couple of these cube bins I already organized while I was out there filtering through everything, but a lot of these I'm just going to dump into this pile right now, kind of categorize the items into like items and then I'm gonna fold them or roll them up nicely and put them in here so that I can see everything as much as I can in a cube storage bin but I'm gonna do the best I can with what I got right away I'm taking the three swimsuits that I decided to keep and I'm putting it in this bin all right then I have so many leggings all the leggings I'm gonna set to the side and then I'm gonna roll organize the leggings the leggings I'm going to store in one of these divider bins. I'm rolling them up and then sticking them vertically so that I can see 
exactly the legging and pull it out easily. The ones that I'm rolling right now are some of my favorite leggings from Amazon. They're super affordable and they're super soft. They feel like Lululemon leggings, but for a huge fraction of that price. We have tons of bras and socks in here and it looks like it's overflowing at this point. So I'm gonna dump this and we're just going to have a sock drawer and a bra drawer. Separate them out rather than cram them into one. All right, all the bras. Black, gray, blue, rainbow, and pink. Some people might think I should have folded those bras there, but I'm starting to run real low on time right now, so we're, we're cutting corners. It's at least all in one designated bin together. These sports bras have their own home. The socks then went in their own bin together, and then I realized I have a whole load of laundry sitting in the dryer right now that I need to bring in here, sort, organize, hang up, and just put it in its final home. No surprise here since I wear leggings all the time in the clean laundry that I'm putting away, there are several pairs of leggings that need to get rolled up and put in the leggings bin. Then I'm freezing all the time, especially when I'm trying to sleep at night, so I generally sleep in sweatsuits. So I'm finding the sweatsuits that I sleep in, finding the pants and top that go together, and I'm rolling them into a set and putting them in this divided bin here. More tops to hang as well from the laundry, so I'm hanging them all up right here, and then I will put them with the rest of the shirts in their Roy G. Biv order so that it can look like a beautiful rainbow. Jeans are the last items to hang. I like hanging my jeans so that I can really see all the different options. I have so many different styles and cuts of jeans. I always fold them in half so that the front of the leg is showing. That way I can also see if they are ripped or intact jeans. This is the only way I can know what I have. I just got rid of 40% of my closet here. You can see all the shirts and tops and dresses I have here. And then this is everything I got rid of. That's a lot. And there's actually a few that were beige that I put over there that I also got rid of. So it was even more than what you see here. But I love that I actually have little gaps and spaces between my shirts now so that I can really see what I have. It's not all just like squished and crammed together to fit the space. I have all of my shorts and long pants hung. In the next month, I'm going to be storing all these shorts off of this rack because it'll be too cold for shorts weather. My cube storage is much more organized. I have my panties organized in terms of what I wear and period panties. <laughs> I have all of my workout bras, all my leggings. I'm really happy about this leggings situation. I have every pair nicely rolled in these dividers. My sleep clothes, I, I rolled sets together. Then I just have some random sweaters that I sometimes sleep in here. Shorts, workout tops in here, swimsuits. In there. I have my two purses that I keep on hand. I usually carry around a little backpack and these are just the only two spares I have. I have a little black corduroy skirt for the fall, a romper, two swim cover-ups, one going out dress, dress that I'm hoping to wear this year for Christmas, and then a modest black dress my bras over here. I am going to be in the market for some new dresses because I do like dresses. I just didn't like the dresses that I owned. So I donated a ton of them. So if you have any suggestions in the comments below, let me know where I can get some good dresses. I'm actually gonna move these over there because I don't like them just sitting out here serving no purpose. As I'm looking through the clothes that I have remaining, it really does solidify just how much my life has changed. When I did my declutter a year or so ago, 
I had so much professional workwear, corporate workwear in my closet and at this point, it's all like casual tees, casual long sleeve shirts. I actually am hoping to get a few nicer tops thrown in here. They're still like casual, but casual chic, not just like clearly I clean my house in this shirt. But yeah, all I really have in my closet at this point are casual shirts, jeans, leggings, and sweatsuits. Yeah, this is what I wear, so this is what should be taking up my closet space, and I'm so happy I decluttered again. I hope this video motivated you to declutter as well. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to click on one of the other playlists or videos floating over the screen at this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!